Have you ever wondered what makes old sayings so popular today? I think the reason is, is because old sayings communicate and understood an acceptable message in a few well-worn and well-known words. I think people love quotes and old sayings because it describes things so perfectly in a string of words. It speaks about people feeling through the arrangement of words that they're not capable of producing. Quotes represent everything that people want to say, but don't know how. A bad penny comes home simply means anything evil will come back to the man who sent it out. Similar to a bad penny always turns up, which means a dishonorable person will always return. More generally, this proverb refers to the recurrence of an unwanted event. This saying has lived long in the language of men. It derives from the notion that some coins were bad, that is, they were debased or counterfeited. A bad motive makes a good action bad. What appeared good enough in itself has even been polluted by the motive. It might be good to kiss the Lord Jesus, but Judas's motive made his kiss a crime. A bad reaper blames the sickle. Every bad workman finds fault with his tools. The Chinese say, all unskillful fools quarrel with their tools. You may have much and little, where others have little and much. It means a man's life consists not in what he possesses. Fitness and content are all important. A little hearth best fits a little fire. A little chapel fits a little choir. My little bell best fits my little spire. Waking up on the wrong side of the bed has come to mean starting the day in a bad temper. Throughout history, the left side of basically anything was considered to be the evil side. So waking up on the left side was also considered a sign of bad luck. To ward off evil, house owners would push the left sides of the bed to the corner so their guest would have no other option than to get up on the right side of the bed. Upon an egg, the hen lays an egg. This saying means to him that hath shall be given. Get a nest egg and more will come. The difficulty of saving lies in the first $100 in your bank account. Quick believers need broad shoulders. This means to support the burden of all which they accept as gospel means they need broad shoulders. One bad apple spoils the whole barrel. This means one bad influence affects others more than the influence of 100 good. This is a familiar one in the old sayings that warns about the contagiousness and the nature of negativity or bad influences. In farming, a rotten apple can release gases that cause nearby apples to spoil faster. Similarly, one negative or toxic individual in your life can harm a group in social or professional settings. It underscores the importance of surrounding oneself with positive influences. Make hay while the sun shines simply means do the job while you have the time and the opportunity. If a farmer waits to cut his hay and the rain comes this could ruin his crop or prevent him from getting the perfect harvest less said sooner mended this saying means keeping your tongue often gives way for time to heal another of ma engel's old sayings is that if you find yourself in a messy situation you can cause more heartache and harm if you keep it stirred up let alone, and it will die a natural death. Kicking the bucket simply means to die. This comes from when cows at a slaughterhouse were put down. People would place a bucket under the animal while it was positioned on a pulley. While trying to adjust the animal, the cow would kick out its legs and therefore kick the bucket before being put down. Don't trust a man that sweats in the winter. I don't know the origin of this old saying. 
but it simply means a man who is always worried when he seems to have no cause to be is full of inward trouble and guilt. If you're late with one chore, you'll be late in a lot more. It means being late to do one task makes you late all day. My papa said a similar thing when I was growing up. He hated being late for anything. We were often two hours early for church. With the unexpected happening all the time on the homestead, it's easier to adapt throughout the day if the necessary morning chores are done on time. I've learned that if I let the chickens out late, then I'm going to be late getting to the barn, which means I'm late milking, which means I'm late everywhere. He who pays the piper calls the tune. When someone is footing the bill, whether for a project, a gathering, or any other occasion, they call the shots. It's like they hold the reins and everyone else has to fall in line. This saying illuminates the sway that money holds. It reminds us that when someone is the one paying, they've earned a say in how things are run and where the funds flow. It's a blunt reminder that whoever holds the purse strings holds the power when it comes to money. The saying, extend the olive branch, surely comes from the Bible, where Noah's dove returned to the ark. It simply means to make peace when there was no peace. Every cloud has a silver lining. Negative occurrences may have a positive aspect to it. This expression can be traced from a piece written in 1634 by English poet John Milton called A Mask Presented at Lodo Castle. He spoke of a silver lining of brightness behind a gloomy cloud. And soon afterwards, Milton's clouds became a staple of English literature. The proverb, every cloud has a silver lining, eventually came into being in the 1800s, a time of positivity in the upper classes of Victorian England. Similarly, silver represents redemption. Don't do a rain dance if you don't see clouds simply means others will know you by your actions. Don't promise what you can't deliver. Say what you mean and mean what you say. Again, I'm reminded of a Bible verse, Proverbs 25, 14, Whoso boasteth himself of a false gift is like clouds and wind without rain. Drive one plow at a time. Turn all your strength in one direction. Divided energies threaten failure. One thing I do is a good motto in life. Don't send a cat to fetch milk. It's a reminder that the employment of dishonest persons in money matters is very dangerous. Don't fret yourself lean because another man is fat. Envy is apt to do this, and there is plenty of it in the world. Should we not all rejoice if others are more happy than ourselves? Pity in most cases would be more fitting than envy. If every man's internal care were written on his brow, how many would our pity share who raise our envy now? Don't fly higher than you can roost. It's a reminder that it's unwise to begin a style of living that you cannot keep up. It's unwise to display a high degree of ability first and then decline because you cannot do so well as a general rule. Do you have an old saying that you just love, that with a twist of a tongue can tickle the ears and warm the heart? Comment below your favorite saying.